Release the Kraken! Greetings fellow game designers, Ron here with Lame Duck Studios. And today we're going to tackle the elf's beautiful mug here. We're actually going to break this up into a few videos because if we tackle it all at once it can be kind of daunting. So we're going to do the lips, uh, nose, eyes, and ears as separate pieces and then we're going to assemble everything together. So without further ado, let's jump right in. I'm going to go into a front view. And I'm going to drop in a cylinder, poly uh, modeling here, drop in a cylinder. I'm going to move that up into position. Move that down toward the mouth. And I want to rotate the cylinder so I have a cap. Now if you're in 2018, 2018 does come with a handy cap um, tool right here. But if you're in 2016 or... If uh, I, I'm not sure if it's in 2017, honestly, but if you're in 2016, which is at the school, um, you probably won't have the cap available, so we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, which is from a cylinder. Um, so drag that up into position, and when I rotate this, you can see Z is forward, X is sideways. I want this to rotate toward the screen, uh, so I'm going to rotate around the X, 90 degrees. Okay, zoom in on this. Now to come down and do my radius, I'm just going to grab the middle here. And I'm going to, first I'm going to grab the word, middle mouse click out. I'm going to scale that up just a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm going to take this down to about 12 subdivisions. So subdivision axis, I'm going to do 12. Um, kind of a magic number, but you'll see the reason for that as we go. Because we're going to start uh, branching out to connect parts of the face. Okay. Um, we don't want to work at the cylinder just yet. Let's go ahead and go into a side view. I'm going to move the cylinder into position about where the lips are. And I really only want the front cap. So I'm going to go into face mode. Uh, right click, go to face mode. I'm going to select this back half. If you ever find that when you're, when you're in um, like face mode or vertex mode and it's yellow, that just means soft select is on. Press B to turn that off. And then it'll go back to normal. So I'm going to grab this back half here, I'm going to press delete. So now I'm left with this cap. See that? I also want to take off the other half of this. I don't need both sides. So I'm going to grab that, uh, hit delete. And now I have this section. I'm just going to go down to vertex mode here. And now it's going to be a matter of shaping this out. So um, grab the vertex. That's going to be the corner of the mouth. This one kind of over here. This one is going to start the formation of the philtrum. So the philtrum is that piece just under your nose. Uh, they call it the snot slide or the spot under the nose where God said, shh, you know, that's the, the general joke. That's going to be forming the philtrum. So I'm going to put that right about there. Uh, this one, bottom of the lips here, bottom of the lips. Okay. Now my picture does not fully show uh, a good uh, set of lips here. And you can see on the front, they don't exactly line up. So we're going to have to take some liberties in getting it working. Before I start carving away, though, I want to do some adjustments. So this one cuts all the way through. I want to take um, this edge and cut this one kind of all the way through as well. So I'm going to remove some of this stuff and grab my multi-cut tool here. I'm going to go from uh, this point. I'm going to go up to this point, click, and then you can see how that connected all the way through. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to get a bunch of these um, little jagged lines, which I don't want. So I'm going to hit Q to get rid of the tool. Go to uh, edge mode, and grab this edge. No longer need that edge or this edge. Don't need this one or that one. I don't need this angle, and I don't need this one. Okay, go into vertex mode. So we should end up with these sections that look like quads, right? Um, gonna get rid of all the extra vertices. So any vertex that is not supported by three edges is actually gonna be bad. So if I delete this one, for example, it would collapse that edge. So I wanna be careful on the ones that I'm picking. I just wanna get rid of this extra one here and this one there, okay? Let's just move these around. Look at that. I'm gonna take this group of vertices in the middle 
And you can see those line up with the lip. That's pretty good. I'm going to grab that bottom one. I'm going to move that back. See that? This middle one, I'll pull that back just a little bit. This one, I'll pull that back, kind of forming around the mouth. Grab these. Now this section is should be a little bit closer to the mouth, but it's okay. I'll pull that back just a little bit in line with the filtrum. And then this uh, group here. This is going to be for the corner of the mouth. I'm going to pull these back like so and this one. Pull that back. I'm going to go and uh, adjust my transparency. So object mode, right click, material attributes. And if it doesn't pop up, just try it again. Sometimes it's stubborn. There we go. So now I can kind of see through. And you can see that this doesn't exactly line up with my lips from both pictures. So like here, the corner of the mouth is there, but there it's kind of low. So this is one of those moments where you have to just kind of pick your battles and go off of whichever one you want. I'm going to pick right about here to sort of do this. I'm also going to work in my perspective view so that I can see the lip shape and how it's forming around. Right now, it's kind of uh, pointy. So I'm going to grab this one, pull that one back. Now I'm, I'm just looking at all my views here, seeing where it's at. I'm going to add an edge loop in. So um, let's go up, Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop. I'm going to add one right here. That way I can get some more control over the lips. Pull this one in. And then this group is going to be a little bit closer to the front of the mouth, just a tad. Sorry if I'm jumping between views. I'm just going to move around a little bit so you can see what's going on. Okay, and I take these, and just because it's a little bit far back, I'm going to move them up just a little bit. Again, my picture does not fully do the justice of the uh, face here. Move that corner of the mouth in just a little bit more. That's getting closer to something useful. Okay. Uh, what I want to do now is create the upper and lower uh, lip portions. So I'm going to grab uh, the edges here, so this edge this one and that one, that one and that one. So if I grab these six edges, so these three, oops, and then these three, right? If I grab them, hold down shift and then right click, come down to connect components. It's going to go through and create this loop. Oh, we missed one. Make sure we grab that one, grab that one as well. There we go. Hold shift, right click, then it'll create a loop through. And you can see this is creating this section for the lips. I'm going to actually cut this part off. So go to face mode, grab this middle section, get rid of that. Let's pull these down. So I'm going to pull these ones down to the top of the lip. Use my scale tool to kind of straighten those out. Pull these ones to the lip here. Let's scale them out. Line them up. You see we're getting that open mouth shape. And then right here we have an end gone. Five points, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we don't really want any end gones. Those are bad for us. Let's grab our multi-cut tool. I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to click down to about here. Make that. Click this one. Click to about there make that one. So now that we have quads, and this is a bit of a stretched quad, but it's all right. It'll work out for us. And 
Now we're not going to really make an open mouth for our character. We're going to have teeth and everything, but this will give us a frame of reference as we go. I'm going to create another loop through here. I'm going to grab my edge loop tool, insert edge loop, go ahead and add one right about here. I'm going to bring this kind of down to there. So I'm going to grab these bottom ones, I'll go to my front view, kind of go around. I'm going to pull those back. Right, so now I'm getting that bend on the lips and I have that top crease. And then kind of lastly for this, I'm going to make another extrusion to kind of pull this back. So I'm going to hit the extrude button. That's this one right here. You can see we get an angle on our extrusion. I'm going to hit W just so we get a world uh, transform. That's going to pull back. And it's going to go inside the mouth. Now, this kind of leads into creating a mouth box where we're going to put teeth in, but we're actually not going to do the whole teeth thing because it's extra. So at some point, I'm probably going to close this up. But for now, I'm going to leave it open just so I can try to get a better shape. And before we actually put this to bed for this video, I want to make some adjustments to the lips just to make them look more natural. Grab like this vertex here. I'm going to pull that down for that top corner of the lips, or that top middle. And then the bottom, kind of the same deal. From the side looks okay. Don't worry about these ones hanging out. We're not going to worry about those too much. We'll probably pull these back just a tad more. Okay, uh, so that's going to do it for this video. In the next one, we're going to do the nose. Uh, we're going to start the shape of the nose and the eyes. Okay. Oh, uh, don't forget to save it. So we're going to do our next iteration. So I'm going to file, save as. And we should be on number five. I already have one because I saved it earlier, but let's go ahead and save. And I shall see you in the next one.